Next video, we're going to learn how to find the roots of a complex number. And if you watched the previous video that went over how to find products and quotients of complex numbers, and as well as applying De Moivre's theorem, you can think of this process as basically doing the reverse of that. So here's the theorem on nth roots. If you have z, which is a complex number written in trig form, and it's a non-zero complex number, and n is any positive integer, then z has exactly n different roots. And we number them w sub 0, w sub 1, all the way up to w sub n minus 1. So if you add it up, that's n different roots total. So if you want to figure out what these roots are, then you would take the nth root of r for z, the original z, and then you would have cis of theta divided by n plus 2 pi k divided by n. And k starts listing out all the different roots. So k starts at 0 and goes up to n minus 1. And then in degrees, it would be the same idea, but you would have theta divided by n plus 360 k divided by n. Okay, so I'll work through two examples, and you'll see it's it's not too crazy as long as you just memorize the process or the rule. It's not really a formula, but if you want to think of it as one, that's fine. Um, then it's pretty straightforward. It gets repetitive. You just got to practice. So memorize this guy. Okay, so here the first one's asking us to find the cube roots of negative 4i. So I want to identify if I'm finding cube roots, then that means n equals 3. Okay, so my complex number z is equal to negative 4i. I need to write that in trig form first. So r is equal to 4, and theta would have to be 3 pi over 2, right? So z equals 4 cis 3 pi over 2. Okay, so now I'm going to write out the formula. So w sub k equals the cube root of 4. You take the nth root of that number, and then you're going to have cis. You take the angle, divide it by k, plus 2 pi k divided by n. I'm sorry, I said divided by k, and it divided by n. So whatever n is, you take that root of r, and then you divide the angle, and then you add 2 pi k divided by n again, okay? And then now we're going to clean it up a little bit before we start evaluating it. So cube root of 4, I can't do anything with that, so I'll just leave it. Cube root of 4, and then I'm going to have 6, 3 pi over 2 divided by 3, that's just pi over 2, plus, and then this is going to be 2 pi over 3 times k. So how do you find all of the cube roots? You start plugging in k is 0, 1, and you're going to stop at 2. Okay, then you'd have all three of them. So here we go. So that means the first root, w sub 0, that would be the cube root of 4, cis pi over 2, and then I'm just plugging in 0 for k there, so that's it. That's the first one. Okay, now to get the second one, I'm going to have w sub 0, or w sub 1, excuse me, keep moving that up by 1, is going to be the cube root of 4. Then we have cis pi over 2 plus 2 pi over 3. Now I'm plugging in 1 for k. So that's going to be cube root of 4 cis 3 pi over 6 plus 4 pi over 6, which is going to be the cube root of 4 times cis 7 pi over 6. Okay, so I need one more. I've got two of them. Now I'm going to plug in 2 for k. So w sub 2 is going to be the cube root of 4 cis pi over 2 plus 2 pi over 3 times 2. So this is going to give me the cube root of 4 cis this is 3 pi over 6 plus 8 pi over 6, which gives me cube root of 4, cis 11 pi over 6. If you ever got carried away and did too many, then they would start repeating back at the beginning. So if I tried to do w sub 3, I'd get the same thing as w sub 0. Okay, so there's all the cube roots. Let's look at one more example. So find the fourth roots of negative 8 plus 8 rad 3i. 
So this is our complex number. They're asking for us to find the fourth roots, which means n is equal to four. So first thing I wanna write z in trig form. So r is gonna equal the square root of negative eight squared plus eight rad three squared. So what's that gonna give us? Well, this is gonna be the square root of 64 plus 64 times three. So that's gonna be four times 64, square root of four is two, square root of 64 is eight. So this is gonna give us 16. And then tangent of theta is gonna be eight rad three divided by negative eight. So negative rad three, and we are in quadrant two, which means that theta is equal to two pi over three. Okay, so now we have the trig form. So I can say z is equal to 16 cis two pi over three. And then I wanna find all of the fourth roots. So w sub k is gonna be the fourth root of 16 cis, and then you take that angle two pi over three, divide it by four, because you're finding the fourth roots, plus two pi k divided by four. And then before you start plugging in the values of k, you wanna reduce all of this. So the fourth root of 16, that's two. And then I'm gonna have cis two pi over three divided by four is gonna be pi over six. Yep, plus pi over two k. Okay, so this is the formula we're gonna to use to get all of our fourth roots, okay? So first one is w sub zero. Always start with zero. So you're gonna have two cis pi over six, and then I'm plugging in zero for k, so that one's done. Beautiful. Okay, w sub one. We have two cis pi over six plus pi over two. Pi over 2 is 3 pi over 6, plus pi over 6 is 4 pi over 6. So that's going to reduce to 2 cis 2 pi over 3. Okay. W sub 2 is going to be 2 cis pi over 6 plus pi over 2 times 2. So that's just going to be pi. Pi plus pi over 2. 6 is going to be 7 pi over 6. So this is 2 cis 7 pi over 6. And then last one, w sub 3, is 2 cis pi over 6 plus 3 pi over 2. 3 pi over 2 is 9 pi over 6. Plus pi over 6 is 10 pi over 6. So that's going to be 2 cis 5 pi over 3. All right, so make sure basically when you solve these problems, process, let's summarize. Write your complex number in trig form, okay? Identify what n is, how many roots you want, then apply the formula, and then you just start plugging in values for k that start at zero, and then it stops at n minus one. So if you want the fourth roots, you're gonna stop one lower than that always. So you're gonna stop at three, okay? So be sure to practice these carefully. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.